October 31st, Tuesday, Halloween, baby. Self-improvement on Halloween will be a challenge with all the tempting candy sitting in front of me. But it is still another day on self-improvement, which means we started off with the morning routine. During my morning routine, I think about what today is going to bring me and what my goals are. I will likely encounter candy because it is Halloween, and my first goal is to not eat a single piece. I also want to stay eating under 2,000 calories so I can drop down to 14.0% body fat and hit a lift so I can gain some muscle. We now have a couple of things that we take in the morning. This is Element. It's basically supposed to lock your mind and get all like the neurons and stuff firing. Next thing we are taking, vitamin D3. I mainly use vitamin D3 for its effects on raising testosterone. And last but not least, we have our creatine. This is just to work on my body, try and gain as much muscle as I can. And that is everything we take in the morning. School with my dog, Jack Copich. Jack, how yeah. you feeling on Halloween day? You know, it's pretty nice, pretty nice. <laughs> It's Halloween, yeah. We got Carlos. Carlos, Carlos. 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 We're hitting uh, back and buys engine today. Let's put on some masks and start off the day with some pull-ups. This is another day of supersetting because I have limited time in the school gym to finish my lift. So I supersetted pull-ups with curls. The next super set consists of lat pull downs and strict dumbbell curls. I try not to rotate my arms for the curls because that's what I view strict curls as. I also love lat pull downs because it grows my mind muscle connection, making me learn how to use my back in workouts when I'm trying to target my back. In the third superset, I tried this new back workout, which I really love. It is a bodyweight slanted pull-up, supersetted with barbell curls. This new back workout, I find it really squeezes the middle muscles on my back, and I will definitely be adding it into my back and by day in the future. The last superset of the workout was straight bar cable curls and shoulder shrugs to burn out the biceps and hit the traps, which are the top part of your back. This was a nice workout, and it always feels good walking into math class the next period with a nice bicep pump. Yo, Ray, did you steal any food today in fourth period? Nope. Nah, it's good news. He's improving. We head into our lunch to have our first meal of the day. I have a Lara bar, nuts, apple, and orange, which has been a classic low-calorie lunch for me. But in the future, I plan to switch up the lunch so I can add more protein in and hopefully gain more muscle. Yo, fifth period, and our teacher's not here, so we just draw on in class. School has been completed. It's like 2.20 right now. We're starving, so we're gonna cook up some Grubbington. I decided to cook chicken and eggs because they are both low in calories and high in protein. I also can't pass up some grapes, so I munched on them too. Better dig into these eggs and some chicken, baby. Meal maxed down, but right now we have to do some chores for the mom. So I emptied out the dishwasher and then head downstairs to do our workout, which is just our stretch. And stretched out my body so I can become more mobile and limber. Stretching is complete. After our stretching, we normally do yoga nidra, but we switch that up to another meditation sesh. Not just free meditation, but guided meditation. I've been trying it out and it makes you feel really kind of powerful. Meditation has become a staple part of my day. On days where I don't get a good Good meditation or skip it, I can feel the difference in how much I stress compared to days where I have a good long meditation. It definitely has, and I hope it will continue to improve my life. Uh, I'm really starting to realize that living in the present is probably one of the best things that you can do. That's what meditation does. It, it teaches you how to know when your mind is drifting off so you can bring it back to the present and really enjoy like what is in front of you right now. We're just about to lock in and get a quick 45 minute work sesh done. This work session is bringing me one step closer closer to my goal of being monetized by November 30th, 2024. 45 minute work sesh done. And not do a second one, but we're carving a pumpkin right now, baby. It's like a sin if you don't carve a pumpkin on Halloween. I don't know why I got a white pumpkin, but there's a first for everything. So I did some surgery on this poor guy and he ended up looking amazing. Here is the finished design of our pumpkin. His nose fell out, but he's still looking pretty swell. I put him outside for the world to see and got back inside for the last meal of the day. All right, so we have about 500 calories left on the day. This about 500 calories worth of food. All we need, much protein as we can get. Steak super high in fat, which I want, but also means super high in calories. So, can only have a little bit. Dinner 
is complete, nice and full. Got a 45 minute work session. I'm gonna leave to go trick or treating. Finished up our 45 minute work sesh. These are starting to feel like 0.25 seconds. 6.15 about, we have 15 minutes to get ready and get to our friend's house. If you don't trick or treat with a pillowcase, you're not an alpha. I was tempted during my trick or treating was to crack open into a Reese's peanut butter cup, but I didn't. It upgraded the skill of willpower in doing so. Yo, candy haul, success. Back to the house. Got our nice big bag of candy too. We haven't eaten one piece, and we're gonna keep it that way because we got the cut hardcore right now. It is 8.50 right now. And we have 10 minutes before we're gonna go to bed. We're gonna do our quick nighttime routine, meditation and journaling, and then night.